hi uh good morning i uh, hope everyone is doing well uh welcome back to my channel today uh it's a very lovely day out there today it's very sunny and i'm glad because um i'm just at home um i've taken a few days uh, a few weeks off um just to relax and uh, take it easy during these um the next two crucial weeks for my journey so if you don't know anything about me welcome to my channel i'm emma and i'm currently undergoing ivf treatment and uh, so i started documenting my journey just just because i felt um what a better way than to document and um be able to show everyone um what i'm going through and also just to help other people because i know i've watched other um before i started the journey i kind of went on youtube and i typed and i saw so many other people and um their journey encouraged me you know some things we learn from each other like what to eat what not to eat what to do what exercises to do during the journey so i kind of thought it's a better way of um um, why not document my journey so here we are and uh, my previous videos if you haven't followed me before um, I've just kind of explained how we found ourselves in this situation I've already had uh, um, I was pregnant a while ago on two 2015 I was pregnant I had a still but I know that's really sad and then the same year uh, towards the end of the year I was lucky enough again to fall pregnant and then I had a miscarriage so since 2016 literally um, we've been trying and struggling to have um, to conceive uh, however we are here now that's where we found ourselves um, because all along we've been trying and uh, nothing has come and uh, here we are doing IVF so I'll never change it for the world it is a, um, an experience it's a journey and come with me and and follow me if you like my video subscribe i'll be updating everyone um every week or at least every few days on how the journey is going so so where do we start so this is my second week of my injections so if you're going through ivf you get the main thing is about injections and um, the main injection is called gonol gonol in my previous uh, sorry about that but in my previous video i might have pronounced it as gonod but it's gonol uh, g-o-n-a-l gonol f uh, it's a type of a follicle stimulating hormone so what that hormone does is literally uh, it just stimulates the follicles in inside you know every end of the month once you've shared your your ovary or once you've got your menses um then what happens is the new follicles starts growing and in a cycle um in a, in a in a menstrual cycle there's so many different days for so long each hormones take over and does something different and does something different before it comes into ovulations and then after ovulation then you get your egg released and then if you have you know if you're trying for baby that's the period of time when you two need to be you know getting on with it and then it will meet the sperm and then it will get fertilized so in an ivf cycle is exactly the same cycle however what they do they just kind of just take over that cycle and they give you the hormone so what you're producing as a natural hormone for example the first hormone you produce after your egg has been released is the follicle stimulating hormone it's in certain amounts when you're producing it naturally but when you're doing ivf so they pump you more with more follicles so you've got your natural follicles being produced follicle hormone being produced and then you've got your follicle stimulating hormone which you're pumping so for me i started with 150 they call it international units so you're given a prefill pen with a um what do you call it? with a follicle stimulating hormones where you keep injecting yourself every day so we had that for five days so i injected myself for five days and then i went in for my tracking appointment and in the tracking appointment what they do they just check that the follicles have grown or they are growing they have to be a certain amount of millimeters i think for them to kind of feel that that's good that the follicles grown to a certain amount of size that is going to be harvested or it's going to produce good eggs so when i went for my first tracking which was last week friday uh, i had 12 follicles however they were growing they were growing uh but then they were around nine millimeters most of them were around nine millimeters and when i looked i think they told me um they have to be above 10 you know and above so 
what what they do after that that's a good that's a, that's why it's really good to have tracking because they can tell and if it's not growing as fast as they want them to grow then they inject they kind of just increase your dosage so i went from 150 to 225 and you cannot believe it within so i had my in, increment of my dosage on friday and um, i had another from the schedule they give in in our schedule you you have a schedule and in that schedule you know what you're doing each week so i already had my scheduled um second tracking schedule on monday which was monday after the friday before so um they increase it on friday to two to two five so i had friday saturday sunday and monday was another tracking which was yesterday we went and i was so worried i can't tell you i was so worried because naturally you don't feel like anything is growing or you're not feeling but everyone is different from everyone i've i've had everyone has uh, they can feel they get bloated they get all the pains and all that but for me for my journey uh, it's just been natural apart from the few days i had headaches here and there um it was absolutely um it's been a, it's been it's been okay i've not had the the bloating the pains and all that so i was so worried when i was going in for my tracking appointment anyway that was yesterday so i went for my tracking and i'd already remember i've increased my dosage to 225 and uh, oh my god it, i came out and i was so happy so they saw eight good follicles out of the 12 that i did they saw eight and um yeah so that was that was really nice um uh, and they had grown to a certain level in such a way that um they were happy so the big follicle was around uh, 17 millimeters so you can imagine if you remember from before my first follicles were around nine so within three days they have literally grown up to 17 millimeters so i had eight however because i have fibroids on my left ovary she was not able to really look at the the follicle properly so i don't know if i've lost the other four or they are just hidden somewhere so what she did is she recommended for me to have general anesthesia when i'll be doing my egg collection so that they they can be able to to mani maneuver and manipulate so that they can be able to see if they can find all other all the other follicles so yes i was so happy and um the follicles are measuring between 17 the smaller one is around uh 10 which is above the line that is recommended so that was really good guys i'm so happy uh, what i did was i just made sure i ate well um i've been eating lots of fruits all the antioxidants lots of vegetables uh grains nuts you know uh, less exercise as they say don't do any strenuous exercise because any strenuous exercise what happens is that you, you you're taking away the blood supply that's supposed to go into the uterus and the ovary to nourish all that to the muscles you know so that's why they say less strenuous exercise so all i've been doing is i've just been doing lots of walks and stretches yoga and all that uh, and 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 hey another thing also i think i can recommend is uh, acupuncture i'm very very hot on acupuncture and they say acupuncture really helps to just stimulate everything and it helped to be i think with my acupuncture lady she said each at each step they've got different type of treatment that they do so the one i was doing at that time after my first tracking was the acupuncture to stimulate the ovaries and i really i believe in it i believe it does help so every anything that can help you with your journey in ivf i think is worth looking at so that's where i am at the moment so my tracking second appointment went so well and i'm so excited and i'm looking forward to my egg collection which is gonna be on Wednesday. So keep up with me and check out my, uh, subscribe on my channel and I shall let you know how my air collection will go on Wednesday. So guys, have a good day. Bye.